Hello, I'm Rebecca of Pocketful of Posies. I wanted to do a tutorial of how I scaled up a gridded pattern using GIMP. To start, you want to open the file in GIMP, and I'm just going to do one pattern page at a time, and it tells us that the resolution is 100 pixels per inch. Next, we want to zoom in so that we can see the grid squares clearly. Then we'll select three or more, my husband suggests more, grid squares. This tells us that the width of the selection is 68 pixels. Next, we want to divide the selection pixel width, which is 68, by how many squares we selected, which is three. That gives us 22.666, which is the pixel width of one square or inch. Remember when we noted that the original resolution was 100 pixels per inch? Now we'll divide that 100 by 22.666, which is the width of one square. Now that we have that number, we wanna make sure that nothing is selected. Then you wanna to go to the image tab and select scale image. Make sure that percent is selected on the side here, and then also make sure that the width and height are linked. Now we're gonna put in our number for our one square. Then just hit scale. Once you're done with that, you can export it as a PDF. And I changed the name of the file so it didn't overwrite anything. Then we're pretty much done with GIMP, unless you have more pattern pieces that you want to scale up. And you can, we can go and open the file in Adobe or whatever you use for PDFs, and then go to print, change it to poster, and then it's ready to print. You can just repeat that for more pattern pages if you have them. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and or useful. And please stick around for more sewing and sewing adjacent topics. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. If you'd like to support my channel any further, I do have a coffee account and that is linked down below. Thank you for spending your time with me and I will see you again on our next sewing adventure. Bye.